Yeah, we did. We went down to uh, Lubbock Coronado. They beat us at home in overtime, and we scored 37 points in that particular game. Uh, last night it was kind of different. The girls shot the ball a lot better. Uh, we decided we wanted to defend a little bit better, and as a result, we ended up getting a win. And you bounced back after a pretty disappointing loss before that. So uh, what, what does that say about your team? Well, last week we were here. We were talking about you know me going down to Lubbock Cooper. We had a couple of win, uh, a couple of wins on our belts. We were playing pretty well, and went down there. And I thought we played well, and uh, ended up losing it in overtime. Uh, so we've been playing decent lately. We won three out of the last four games, and I feel like we're playing better. And having played uh, Cooper down there to a close game, it gave us a lot of confidence. And uh, we had played Coronado once before, and I felt like they were a team that we could beat. And last night, we just went out and played well. You guys are in a good position right now, but it, it kind of feels like these, these final games here are going to kind of have a playoff feel to them because it's so muddy in this district, top to bottom. Yeah, and we, uh, we know that coming down the stretch, we've got seven games left, and the team that wins probably four out of that seven has a good chance to make it. But if you definitely win five out of that seven, then you're going to be in. And we've got so many good teams in our district. You know, we got five to six teams that can legitimately, you know, stake a claim to making the playoffs. So it's going to be tough. Everybody's have to be ready. You have to be healthy and you have to be playing well going down this stretch in order to make a run.